Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's build it. I'm Imran Malik. In today's video, we are gonna build some new screens. In last video, we have developed this uh, bio uh, bio screen. Uh, so if you have not watched, please do uh, watch the last video. Uh, this is the session in which we are developing all these screens in the Swift UI. So if you are new in the Swift UI or already learning so you can subscribe to my channel we are uh, going to learn new things in this so in today's video uh, we will focus on the payment method screen so basically there are three payment methods we gonna build so first let me create its view I'll give it a name, sign up, uh, payment view, no, 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 sign up, uh, what can we say it, it's a payment method, so we'll say sign up payment view, yeah, I'll also create the view model for it, sign up view model, payment uh, view model, let me create its class final class let me copy paste observable object copy the class name i'll create this state object state object was sign up a uh, view model and initialize it with the its class okay let me do it private i hope i have uh, created its private in the last video as well yes okay all right so let's go to figma so we have this view uh, it is almost similar to the last video so we can most probably use the old approach that we have uh, how we have created the last one so I'll create a Z stack first. I'll add the background image using the image and uh, the name will be splash. We already have it in the asset folder. I'll ignore the safe area to make it spread edge to edge. Here on the right hand side, you can see how it looks like. Uh, I'll create a scroll view. On the scroll view, we'll start adding the views inside of V stack. So if you are uh, you have any doubt why we are using the v stack inside of a uh, scroll view you can watch my last video i have explained it i'll uh, add the default spacing to 20 uh, we'll add the text for the title and the title will be uh, payment method mm, copy and paste it then we'll add font uh, the system font size will be 25 i believe yes 25 and the weight would be bold then we will add the frame we'll say max width to infin infinity and alignment to the leading will add some top padding as well as it is the first element and it uh, will not tag the default spacing that we have given in the v stack so we need to add the top padding now let's add the subtitle we'll copy copy the text and paste it here we'll add the slash n just because uh, it's visible on the UI so just to match with the UI uh, we'll add the size to 12 and the weight, uh, weight would be regular we'll add the frame and yeah exactly same so we'll just copy and paste it to make it aligned to the leading now it's time to add these views so to add these views, uh, I'll create a model for them as well, just to make them uh, uh, dynamic. So let's get 
back to uh, the view model payment view model here on the top I'll create a payment structure struct payment payment uh, method which is going to be equitable uh, equitable like this to make them equitable we will need an ID so I'll create an ID variable which is nothing but a UUID to make them uh, unique then uh, the exact data we need is uh, the name of the payment and uh, the logo of uh, that particular method all right here I'll create a published variable but before that we need to move some assets for all this payment method so I already downloaded them from the Figma you can al also download them or I'm also giving the project link in the description so you can use them as well uh, add those name inside of our extension image extension so it's the pioneer then we have uh, PayPal and at last we have Visa yeah. okay now go back to the view model class here first create the published variable payment uh, method which is an array of payment method <coughs> I'll initialize them uh, with square brackets not curly braces and inside of it I'll create the data so this is going to be the mock data so let's say we have an API and we are going to get uh, the multiple payment method so we can decode them using the payment method uh, structure basically it's our model so I'm creating the mock data for uh, for now PayPal visa and pioneer we'll use the logo for them and we also need a variable to capture the selected method so I'll say published where selected payment method which is a payment method or optional payment method so initially it will be nil because we have not selected anything uh, now it's time to uh, plot all those payment method on the view so I'm going to use for each loop for this view model dot payment methods and id will be id that we have already have in uh, the uh, payment method structure we'll say method in this loop here i'll going to use uh, uh, what we can use so we just have the logo at the center so probably you can use a V stack or H stack. I'm preferring the H stack. Okay, H stack. Then we need an image, and inside of it, uh, we need to pass the logo name. So we'll say method dot uh, uh, logo. So it should show the images. Yes, on the right side you can see, but uh, it's not exactly same how it looks on the view so let's decorate them we need some white background and uh, some corner radius as well so let's add a frame first <coughs> max width to infinity then we can add some height Let me check. Uh, it's uh, 73. So probably we can say 70 pixel only. Okay. So we have 70 pixel of height. Then we need to add a background color. So I'll say uh, I'll add a condition here. 
so if selected method is uh, what we have selected so it should be green but if it is not selected then it should show white this is uh, what the logic i have written here so you can see uh, the white background on all those cells okay because the background color is white let me explain here because the background color is white uh, our cell uh, cells white color is not clearly visible so that's why i'm uh, creating some grayish color here to just to make it visible on the back uh, on the on that view particular view so i'll use it uh, as a background color here it's actually not our mistake it's the design that is not correct uh, on the figma it looks some a little grayish on the bottom but when you extract it it is completely white that's why we are facing the, uh, this issue so it will look a little different from the ui but you will get an idea how you can implement your logic so uh, let's get back to the view I'll add the corner radius of 15 pixel. I hope it's enough. Uh, uh, how much it is? It's 22. So let me change it. 22 pixel of uh, corner radius and uh, some padding from the top. Yes. Uh, we also need to add some tab gesture to select a particular payment so we'll say view model dot selected view model dot uh, selected payment method is equal to method and i want it with some animation soft animation so with animation i'll cope i'll make it inside of curly braces then with animation i'll use a ease in out animation with some duration for duration i'll use 0.5 uh, looks good to me till now okay now we need to add a button that's the only thing we left on this view so in uh, below the for loop i'll add this custom button that we already have you can check out the older video for creating this custom button if you are new on this channel i'll add the text to uh, next and uh, title will be next and uh, we don't need these uh, optional things so i'll remove it i'll pass the config inside of it and here is our button but uh, as it is stitched to the for loop I mean uh, the payment methods we need it on the bottom so as similar to the last video we going to use the geometry reader for this something like this reader in and we need to add this closing bracket at the last here is our scroll view on the v stack we need to add the frame so frame uh, height uh, 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 height why it is not coming let me remove it height should be reader dot size dot height like this we need to add a spacer uh, between the payment method and uh, button to make them separate mm, yeah now it looks good let's add some bottom padding adding to bottom also uh, the width 
of this button should be uh, less than the uh, the view I forget to do this in the last uh, video as well so we'll uh, change it so 150 it should be I'll change it in the last screen as well like this okay now it looks good just one thing we need to add some horizontal padding uh, padding horizontal yeah so it looks aligned now uh, we also need to uh, hide the back bar button the default one and gonna use the custom one that we have created in our last video uh, let me copy it and uh, we'll use it from here <clears throat> we also need uh, navigation store so I'll copy it from here paste it on the top navigation store we have it and uh, uh, we'll add it on the leading back bar button item in this view we'll pass the back button looks good and almost done we also need to link uh, this view from the uh, 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 from the payment uh, from the bio view so we'll add the navigation destination enum sign payment view sign up payment view then we will initialize the view inside of it almost done just need to uh, link it from the bio view so i'll type navigation store dot push to uh, sign up payment view <clears throat> now let's try to run it it should work so guys if you are new on this channel please do subscribe share it with your friends uh, if you are already learning it uh, I hope you are enjoying watching this videos if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section I will try to uh, answer you all so on this screen uh, on click of next we are landing on this newly cre created screen on select you can see the uh, animation and how we are selecting the particular payment method so we are almost done with this video uh, i hope you like this video thank you